Hey everyone, this is Don at Dalton and STFs, and like I said in my last video, we are finally going to take a look at Thunder Mayhem. We kind of went over the team and everything, you know, showing them compared to Bludgeon in that video, and I just wanted to go over this one more time. Uh, I really love these guys as a team. I, I think they look better than the combined mode. I'll just state that off right now, uh, but we will look at the combined mode regardless uh, of my opinion, so... Uh, just, you know, a little disclaimer as we get into this that, you know, if I'm going to have a Thunder, you know, a version of Thunder, oh, okay, Thunderwing in my collection, I'm probably just going to get either the Deluxe or any third party, you know, decent sized one that comes out. Uh, I'll probably just stick with the Deluxe and stick with that. So, that being said, let's go ahead and get these guys into their combined mode and go from there. Alright, so here we have all the guys in their combined mode. Let's go ahead and get them connected. So go ahead and join up. Get them to do it without coming apart. Connect one sweeper here. It's a little tight getting that in there. Same with Ruckus or Grabouge. Grabouge, whatever. And here we have the pretty much stock combination for Thunder Mayhem. Now let's go ahead and put in his swords, which are pretty tight. So you don't want to try to force those or else you're going to screw up the hands for the combiners. So, there you go. Now he's got some swords. Now the only thing is, like I said before in my bludgeon video, don't have any way of holding on to this yet. I need to get a necklace chain, but you can still have. Let me get this sword out of here. Still have them holding on to the matrix itself. So there is that. Now I don't care much for this stock way of you know how he's combined so let's go ahead and remedy that right now just want to rotate the thigh and rotate the legs with the thighs to bring this up bring this around around so now we've already got some thinner legs and you're already seeing one of the issues I'm having here is since I took apart the legs for the fix is legs just don't want to stay in place. Now I've heard from other people that it's got the same issue as well with theirs and they haven't even done the mod so I don't know what the deal is, why he's not wanting to stay together. And lastly, like I did with Bruticus, we're going to come back here, undo these wheels, bring the arms themselves down around to where the front of the vehicle rests here and this little tab here rests between the gun and the little section that holds the gun for the shoulder and do the same on this side as well so I can just get it, there we go and there we have a much thinner and better looking Thunder Mayhem now the only problem is is his arms being a little bit loose, but there we go, fully combined, ready to go. Um, I do plan on getting the Perfect Effect add-ons, I'll probably just get the Bruticus set and paint the feet blue, or just plug these current feet on top of the new ones, that he's still kind of got that blue foot look, kind of like I did with the Bruticus back when I had that. I mean I still have it but back in that video. Uh, not too bad of a head sculpt, just the paint on it, it's a little too glossy and it comes off looking a little rushed. And you know, with how the head was made, it's a little bit thin. But very much looks like his Marvel comic 
counterpart and it, it looks pretty damn good. Um, I'm not going to complain too much about it, I just I prefer the deluxe class so I plan on picking that up here pretty soon and just having these guys as a team. But it, the, the combined mode is growing on me so I, I'll, I'll probably just go ahead and leave it for now and you know just change it every so often. So not much else to be said about that. I mean this guy looks pretty good. Uh, has a few issues that's mostly with the mold degradation how much these molds have been used and you know mostly factory errors as well. So that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this review of you know the subscription service you know Thunder Mayhem. Uh, it was a long time waiting. It was a little over a year now since it was first announced and you know, finally we have them all. All we need is Impactor and his counterpart that comes with him. So like I said in the previous video we should be getting that here pretty soon. So see you guys all next time. Also be sure to check out of course my links in the description for all the reviews on these guys. I'll leave a playlist and also the cards that have been popping up for all five of these guys. So that being said, also check out my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram page. That pretty much does it. I'll see you guys all next time. So after recording the main portion of the review, I decided to test my luck and try putting the perfect effect add-ons that I already have for Bruticus on here. And if it weren't for the hips, it would be so easy to do. But with the way the hips attach and just how loose it is, it took me a good like three minutes just to get them to stand in this pose. But it does help quite a bit. You can actually hold the swords, you know, pretty firmly and get them in some pretty decent poses, of course, you know, with the ball joints and everything. Uh, it looks so much better, so I might just go ahead and get that and paint the feet kind of a blue to match that and maybe add some medium gray or silver to it. I don't know yet. So, that being said, you know, thanks to these add-ons, I am looking forward to getting them again, either those or the uh, Superion ones, because they at least match a little bit more with this color scheme of the, you know, the bright colors. So I might get those instead of the Combaticon ones. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.